And that's what they're gonna say, holy shit. Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just about to take a little ride to meet a friend for lunch. Not Don Smith, which is unusual. Usually I'm meeting Don for breakfast. But today, I have got uh, a lot to talk about. First of all, if this is your first time joining me on my motor vlogs, welcome to Cruise Man's Garage Motor Vlogs. We talk about just about anything. Uh, usually I just end up rambling, meaningless chatter. It's a little cool this morning here in Kelton, Texas. Even though my uh, thermometer says 59 degrees, it's kind of breezy today. And that makes it feel a lot colder. It feels more like about 49 degrees. It's actually pretty nippy. I'm going to turn on my uh, heated grips here. That's how cold it is. You know, I took my... I took my wind... Uh, little wings off to do some work on the bike and I haven't put them back on yet and I really do notice the difference not having those uh, air wings uh, mounted underneath the mirrors it makes a big difference in how much uh, cold air hits your hands but anyway it is the 22nd I believe it's the 22nd of December so we're sneaking up on Christmas and uh, if I forget to mention it, I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. I would say Happy New Year, except I'll probably do another vlog before New Year's. So I mentioned in one of my little short videos on YouTube the other day that I've been so busy uh, getting this garage uh, renovated with uh, new cabinets and got those installed last week and also uh, the floor the garage floor I uh, had a company come in uh, garage floors DFW uh, came in and redid my garage floor uh, with an epoxy treatment with polyaspartic top coat and it just looks amazing I don't know why the hell I didn't do this 15 years ago or 10 years ago uh, just stupid on my part but the next uh, project is to paint those cabinets and I've been posting some pictures on my Facebook uh, groups or Facebook channel or Facebook page or whatever the heck they call it and I think I'm probably going to go with white uh, just because I'm afraid if I go with flat black it's going to really make that room look dark but this is also the most important thing I want to talk about is my most recent video that I just posted uh, today or I will have posted it by the time you see this I uh, you will find the video on the Remus performance sport exhaust and actually this motor vlog today is my last ride with that exhaust installed. I'll be removing the exhaust and shipping it back to Remus. Now, I think I mentioned in the video that Remus sponsored the video. So, uh, but I did not get to keep the exhaust. They sent me the exhaust to install on my Goldwing and test out and review, but uh, I don't get to keep it, obviously. It's an expensive exhaust, and I'm going to give you a little bit of personal feelings about the exhaust uh, as we go through this motor vlog. Now, I've had the exhaust on the bike for a couple of weeks. I've ridden several times with it, and I'm not the kind of guy that really likes loud exhausts, okay? So when I owned a Harley, I had the factory exhaust. I did not have the Screaming Eagle. But I know that some of you guys really like that that throaty sound, that 
a little more noise, a little more uh, aggressive sound. And I'm telling you, this exhaust system gives it to you. It is unbelievable. And what's nice about it is it lets you select the amount of sound because it's got a valve inside each muffler that you can open or close electronically. In fact, I've got the switch right here mounted on my uh, hand control. I've got it set to green right now, which means it's 10% open. And uh, it does give you a more throaty sound, especially on acceleration. That's where you really notice it is when you accelerate. Now I'm going to go into tour mode because I'm in economy mode right now and you don't really get the RPM. You don't really notice the exhaust until you get up about 3,000 RPM. When you start hitting 3,000 to 4,000 RPM, this engine comes alive and the exhaust notes just come alive, especially with this Remus exhaust. So it's a very exotic system. It's, uh, it's pretty simple to install. Actually, it's not hard to install. It just takes a little time. Uh, and, I, and my video covers how to do that. So I think just about anybody with average skills can install this exhaust system. Uh, but I'm going to tell you a few things I've noticed I like or dislike about the exhaust and things you might want to consider. Um, now, I don't really dislike anything about it. It's, and as I said in my video, it's, it's, the, it's the nicest produced product I think I've ever installed on a Goldwing. The quality of workmanship in this exhaust system is unbelievable. It, you can just tell, as soon as you take it out of the box, you can tell it's super, super high quality all stainless steel just beautiful looks like it'll last a, more than a lifetime so it's a really uh, amazing quality and this company makes exhaust systems for VW for AMG for Ducati so they know what they're doing they've been doing this quite a while so they're uh, a, a very very uh, credible company even though I'd never heard of them I'm just not that familiar with them and uh, they mostly make for European brands products for European brands but now they're kind of expanding out and getting into new markets now you can hear a little growl and that's just through my GoPro microphone which is not the most uh, impressive microphone I'm gonna go to yellow you'll notice the difference now we're at 40 percent open Just, it, it just sounds incredible and like I say I'm not one for uh, loud exhaust but I'm kind of getting hooked on this sound I'll go red now it's full 100% the valve is opened all the way see even through the uh, even through the GoPro microphone you're going to be able to hear that it's pretty cool so, a couple of things you might want to consider is that uh, you don't get to keep the chrome inner cover on the, on the mufflers. And that's, uh, aesthetically, it's a little bit, uh, I, I don't, I, I'm not crazy about that. Even though it's in an area where you really don't see it, it's not that prominent. I mean, when you look at this, you would swear this bike has a factory Honda exhaust system. You'd never know that this has a sport exhaust because it uses the chrome covers that come from Honda. Now, as far as the fit and finish, I had absolutely no problem getting this installed. I know some of you guys out there have talked about uh, you have the Two Brothers exhaust. And I have not tested that. They were supposed to send me uh, a system to install and test and review, but they never did. So I don't know anything about it other than I've heard some people say they've had trouble getting it to install correctly because some things just don't fit quite right. Not so with the Remus. This thing goes right on just like factory. It looks like something Honda made. It's that well designed and executed. So you don't have to worry about that. The only concern is 
some of the wires uh, that they use in the system that go to the actuators and to go to this control are extremely long. So you end up with a lot of excess wire uh, under your seat or wherever you store your wires that you kind of have to deal with. Uh, it would be nice in the future if uh, Remus would maybe shorten the length of those wires because they only make it for the 2018 Plus Goldwing. It's a unique system just for this bike. So there's no reason to have all that excess wire. Uh, the only other uh, thing that that I think Remus uh, might want to consider in the future is come out with an exhaust but without the actuator and without the valve. I know a lot of guys, I know Don Smith, when he saw this system and he listened to it, his first comment was he would set it to red 100% open and he'd never change it. So for somebody like Don, and I, I suspect there's a lot of people out there like that, they want it to be as loud as it can be and they're gonna leave it that way all the time. And so why pay for the cost of this actuator and all this complexity of the switch? So I guess what I'm saying is I think Remus could sell a heck of a lot of these at hopefully a lower price get more people into their system if they simply had one that was without the valve, just straight open. And maybe for $1,500 or $2,000 instead of $3,000, because $3,000, this is an expensive system for a Goldwing owner. And I'm not saying it's not worth it. I think it is. And I, for someone like me, now, I, if I had a system like this, I would prefer having that valve because there's times when I want to ride quiet. Like if I'm on a highway ride, you know, going down the highway, I don't want that extra sound. I'd rather have it be more quiet, more comfortable. I think Remus should consider a no controls, no electronic switch, no valves, just a straight open pipe, 100%, just like this sounds at 100% open. Sell it at a lower price, and I think they'd sell it a lot of them. But this system, if you've got the money to spend and you want the very best and you want the most exotic exhaust system, this thing sounds like a Ferrari when you get on it. It is really, really amazing. I'm gonna hit it here in a second coming off this light and you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, that is unbelievable. Goldwing could sound so good. I mean, when you put that switch on red, I call it holy shit mode. Because you get on the bike next to somebody in a car or another motorcycle, and that's what they're going to say, holy shit. It's, it's that impressive. It sounds like a Porsche or a... I mean, it's just has an incredible sound so make sure you check out that video on my website for the Remus performance sport exhaust and uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you like this video please give it a thumbs up you can check out Remus sport exhaust on their website I'll put a link in the description of this video and I want to wish all of you a very, very Merry Christmas. Lots more videos coming. Won't be long. I've got 11 videos in the pipeline right now that I'm working on. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the little bell icon. Hopefully the notifications work. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. So anyway, that's it for me. Until the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. I'm going to miss this sound. I know I'm going to miss it.
If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.